guys, it's Crazy Grace Briar here and today I'm going to be showing you how to sculpt a model horse mane. Now, um, this is, um, this is an older stablemate model and there's like practically no mane there, no forelock because I have no idea why. And then its tail is kind of like, just, it's kind of boring. So I'm going to make it like super long and super gorgeous. Um, this is the first part, or this is just the main tutorial, and there's, I think, there's going to be a separate tutorial on the tail. So without further, further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I put a background behind here so that you could see my model easier. So what you're going to need is you're going to need um, epoxy sculpt. I use this I got from a dinosaur kit, like a dinosaur sculpting kit. And I'm also going to be using tools, like I'm using this pointy tool, and then maybe this tool, and I might be occasionally using this tool. And then I have a little dish of water, and then an old paintbrush that I use for sculpting. Um, I make sure to keep this thing wet all, like at all times, otherwise it'll dry and it'll be rock hard. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a chunk of my epoxy sculpt. And I'm just gonna roll it into a, I don't know, like a little worm, I guess. And I'm going to apply it to my horse, just at the very top. I go all the way down to, it's like probably halfway down to the withers. And now I'm just going to make the crust of the mane. Just my smoothing it out on the neck. Now I'm just going to start flattening this out, trying not to mess up the crust that we just made. Okay, so um, right here the mane's kind of like short, it's not very full, so what I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to take a little piece of clay, I'm just going to add it on right where I want it, and then I'm going to smooth it out. And then here's where the water comes in. Just dry. Just put a little water on it. That might be a little much. Oh, it soaked it right up. And you can just smooth it in. There we go. So I'm gonna take a paper towel to dry it because I don't want it that wet since we're not at the wet stages yet. And as you can see, my crust goes all the way down to probably the top of the, or like, yeah, the beginning of the withers. And it goes, it ends, like the crust ends at the top of the withers, but the mane runs down the withers as it's still falling down. Because we want to make sure, like, the if it's, like, standing, we want to make sure the mane is um, laying f flat. Otherwise, like, if it's, like, standing here and its mane is blowing, I mean, there might be wind. But usually if your horse is standing, its mane is still. Now I'm going to use this tool. There you go, it's like a little arrow. And I'm just gonna start making marks in the clay. So like there's a mark, it doesn't matter if there's like, if it like shrivels up on the sides, because that's normal, we'll smooth it out with the water. See, like, so I'm just gonna do this section, and then I'm gonna take the paintbrush with the water and soak it up on a little piece of paper. And so it's kind of wet, but not really wet. I'm just gonna dab it on here, smooth out like all its hardness. You don't want to get like soaking and like dripping wet. You just want to get it just a little wet so you can just brush it down. And it kind of filled in the little parts of the mane. I'm just going to take my tool and redefine them. And I'm just going to do this the entire mane. 
Okay, so I just finished doing the entire mane. It probably took like one minute. Um, since this mane isn't very, like, it's not super duper, like, like, just insanely long. It's probably a medium length. Um, didn't take very long, plus is this, this is a stable mate scale, so it's much easier for me, because I've never sculpted a traditional scale. So you see all, like, the little crusties and stuff, all the, like, ends that shriveled up. I'm just gonna dampen my paintbrush. I'm just going to smooth it out lightly. And also the ends, like I separated some of the ends to look like the mane because the mane isn't going to like perfectly flat unless you just clipped it and it's like exactly where you just clipped. But I'm just going to like make it look like a mane on the end. And make sure you're not um, rubbing it side to side, you're doing it the flow of the mane. And I'm just going to go back, my shoulder go, and just redefine some of them. Some spots I missed to do it. Okay, so I think my mane is pretty much done. Um, since I'm doing a stable mate scale, it's not going to take very long. Um, I might touch up the ends of the mane since some of them are like a little bumpy. You want to try to make your mane is as smooth flowing as possible. Here's an example I did this morning. Um, this isn't very well done, but I mean this part's very smooth. This part, let's just not look at that part. This part's very smooth and epoxy dries rock hard, so this is pretty much hard. I did it this morning, so it's uh, just a teensy bit soft. I don't want to dig my fingernail in it. <laughs> I almost forgot about the forelock. Okay, so forelock, um, it's going to continue through the mane, but I think I want this horse to have a bridle cut. So, like a bridle path cut. So, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to put a little, tiny, little, um, maybe like the crust where it got shaved off. So, I'm going to roll out a tiny little thing. If not, if you don't want a bridle path and you want it to look like a wild horse or something, or like your horse doesn't have it cut that way, you can just put more mane on there, I guess. But I want mine to have a bridle path. And I'm just going to leave that for the base of my forelock. Now I'm going to take a tiny little piece of clay, or epoxy, I guess. I want a little smaller piece. I mean, I don't want the forelock looking too large. Always put, always make less epoxy than you think you're gonna need. Otherwise, you don't have to waste it. But I think I made way too much. I'm gonna use this on the tail though. So just make it into a little teardrop. Make a little teardrop. Let me just point the end a bit. And then I'm going to. Stick it in there. It's ripping the bridle path. No! So now here's the forelock. I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did with the mane. I'm just going to be a little more delicate since this is um, quite smaller. Very, very delicate. I'm going to use this tiny thing to make the lines even though it's going to not make them very well is looking a little weird so in order to smooth it down and kind of restart I'm gonna wet my brush again because it's looking pretty dry I'm just gonna smooth it down to the point where I like it I mean it doesn't have to be perfect uh, mains aren't always perfect forelocks aren't always perfect so there can be weird pieces sticking out and stuff I mean, it doesn't look perfect or anything because it's very small, but looks good to me at least. So, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to check out my other video I think I'm going to make. Um, how to make a model horse, like how to sculpt a model horse tail. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram, crazy.acres.briar. 
um, for maybe more updates on this guy if I paint him. Um, if I do paint him, he'll probably be in my like October pictures, I think. So, thank you guys for watching and see y'all later.